Cause you a bad bitch, a bad bitch, you a bad bitch Anything you want, girl, you can have it Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Bree, and I'm back out here working Today, we're gonna be doing a video on my... I'm gonna say favorite YouTubers right now Because, y'all... I will admit, I'm one of those people who does not subscribe My bad Subscribe to people all the time because I have a superstition, okay? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get myself together, but I'm not re-recording this. So get it together, Brie, because it's only one take. All right, so some of, my favorite, some of my favorite YouTubers, and the reason I don't subscribe to a lot of them is because when I, as soon as I subscribe to you, you either stop putting out content, it stops being good, or it's just like, mm, nah, I don't like it. But I do faithfully watch, so it's like, Brie, why don't you just subscribe? I mean, you might as well just go ahead and do it. No. No, because as soon as I do, no matter how long it takes, I'm like, you know, it's been like a year. Let me finally subscribe. That's when you start fucking up. Okay, out of all, I have like over 30 something people who I'm subscribed to right now who I don't watch their stuff. There's so many people who like they're barely holding on. It's like, bro, come on, get it together. But anyway, uh, I'm going to talk about some people who I like to watch now. Who I am, some people I am still subscribed to, I won't lie. But others I'm not because, no. Now, not that I don't like your content, like I said, I just don't want to risk. I'm giving you your views, so just take that. At TV to kind of go through some of the people, because some people I honestly forgot. The last time I recorded this video, I forgot a few people. I'm like, how could I forget you? Well, you know why? Because I'm not, subscri um, cause I'm not subscribed to them. That's probably why. So let's start out with people who I am subscribed to that I do still watch. So number one, and honestly, I don't even think I will ever stop liking her no matter how inconsistent she is, any of that stuff. It is forever Alyssa. Alyssa forever. Alever. Yeah. Alyssa Forever, and I really the reason I got confused because her Instagram name is Forever Alyssa. I love Alyssa Forever. I think she is so beautiful. I think she is. I love her hair. I love her personality. I love how she looks the same. All people who I like, I realize, especially in the beauty, it's like that. They look the same with and without makeup on. They really do look just enhanced whenever they don't have makeup on. I love her video. She's very inconsistent, but when she is on, she's on it. She's on top of her stuff. But when she's off it, I mean, you know, people need a break. Look, YouTube is my full job, but it's like... Look, y'all. I got problems, okay? I got issues. I got some mental health stuff I got to deal with. And you know, everybody has mental health right now. But she actually was having problems like that before that. And it's not something that she uses as a crutch to get people on her channel. Like a lot of these people nowadays. But yeah, I love Alyssa. And right now, she just started kind of like redoing some more stuff. I love her like style right now. It's kind of like vlog style slash cribs like mcv cribs like like oh surprise you weren't here it really looks like someone else is really doing a lot of her stuff and i really want to kind of like learn how to do that because like a lot of the stuff that i want to do i want to do it so it's kind of like someone else is doing it but i'm kind of like solo right now so i'm trying to kind of see her stuff so i really like how her editing editing style is and then i love her new intro it is so so good i definitely need to start learning and practicing how to do some of those stuff because yes girl Next person is Brie Hall, the OG Brie Hall. Let me tell you, all of the people who you think you like right now, think you're new and all that stuff, they learn from Brie. They stole from Brie. They biting from her all the time. I love Brie Hall. I think her name on, I think she goes, she does like music and stuff now too. It's like LaRage or something like that. Not 100% sure. I'll be honest, I am very, very supportive. But at the same time, I have not watched a single music video. I feel like I haven't watched or seen any of her music stuff because I'm scared to watch it, not like it, and then not like her anymore. I'm like, <sighs> why? Why did you do this? I don't know why I'm thinking that because pretty much everything she puts out, I'll watch it. Even if I don't really care about the subject, don't care about that type of content, that kind of video, I'll still watch it just because it's her. And from like a little bit of like little things that I've heard like in her hair videos and her like little lifestyle videos, stuff I've heard doesn't sound bad, but I'm just like, I'm just not ready. I'm just not ready. No. 
Um, yeah, I love her hair also. Like I said, a lot of people who I started to, who I, who I began watching, I started watching them because when I was natural, I was trying to grow my hair out, trying to do different styles. These were the natural hair gurus. So it's kind of like I'm doing everything for you. You start watching all their content and after a while you just, I love you. You're like really awesome. Did you know that? Like, like, like that. So love her stuff. Um, and I like how she's very much still herself. She hasn't changed a lot of her stuff. If anything, if she's changed, she's more so adapted her own style. She's just grown in herself, not changed and completely changed 180, changed personality. She's still very much the same. Um, her as well as Alyssa, they have both, like I've seen them both when they were first living in their original rooms, original state, when they started in college, when they were started in their original hometowns and have able to move across the country to LA. A lot of people who I've watched, it took a long time to move to LA, but eventually it was kind of like, I think I gotta go move to LA. So they all left. So I really like the transition and I like how they haven't been changed by their surroundings in a negative way, like, or in a super visual type of way. So I think that's kind of nice. Oh, an OG, Jayla Corian. Let me tell you. When I say, I'm sorry, look at the camera. When I say I want to be Jayla when I grow up, I'm not lying. I wish, I wish. I, I've watched her since she was in college. I think I was like, maybe a junior or sophomore in college when I found her channel. And I was just like, yo, I, she like does everything I like. She has a lot of the same wants and things that I liked, stuff that I wanted. She does a lot of stuff. What I love the most about Jayla, I watch both, I max subscribe to both her main channel and her beauty channel, even though she's pretty much neglected her beauty channel, which, excuse me, I'm actually kind of fine with because my, evolution of what I like to watch has kind of grown from just regular basic content videos to vlog style and a lot of the things that they do they can do the things they did on their main channel but in a vlog style and I still like it but something I really really like about her the most is that when she wants to do something even if she's not like a thousand percent certain on it she still goes explores it she still tries to find a way to do it and even when she wants to do things that she doesn't know how to do but she is 100 percent passionate about it she will go do it i'm gonna go try i'm gonna go learn i really like the fact that she i think what it is the reason why i feel like i'm not at her level yet I don't want to say it makes everything about money, but at the same time, a lot of the things I feel like she's able to do because she has the money to blow on it, if that makes sense. Also, if she kind of vlogs it, puts it in her, puts it into a part of her content, if it doesn't work out, she can always write it off as a text like, look, I tried to do this for the purposes of this. It didn't work out. I'm still going to get money off it. Whatever. Like money's not necessarily an issue for her and if it is she doesn't make it seem like that which I kind of am where it's like I don't have a problem spending money like if a thing costs something to do it I'm gonna spend the money if it's worth it why not spend the money at the same time I'm not making the money like she is but it's kind of like no matter what it takes to get to this, I'm going to do it. What I need to do to get it. What's the smartest way that I need to do to get it? What I really like about her is that even though um, she's a people person and stuff like that, she does like being alone sometimes. She does like to just chill. So, you know, I really like that about her. I like that she's able to just make moves. It's like, look, I'm solo dolo, but it's what I'm going to do. Um, I also really, really, exp I, like, I really like that fact that she has been able to really keep her connections. Like, she has, she still talks to people from college. The person who used to do her hair all the time in college is the same person who, um, she can still call on now. She still, you know, network with people from high school, from her own hometown. She, um, you know, goes to an experience, even though she's not certain about it, she still experiences it. She has to make it the best that she can and take what she can from even the worst experiences so I just love her and a lot of people who I um who I still watch their videos I'm actually still very very inspired by I actually follow them on Instagram which is very very helpful um especially because it's more so I don't want to say a more personal because a lot of times a lot of their posts be sponsored and stuff like that y'all know how it is but at the same time it's just easier to see them in hand like I can 
see like this is what I'm trying to get to you see right here this is what I'm trying to get to so next person is Aaliyah's I actually have two Aaliyah's I'll be honest I'm gonna start with Aaliyah J because she's who I've been watching the longest I started watching her when I was getting into makeup but what I liked about her videos is that she kind of kept it what she does a lot of different people around the time where she was still popular and more people were starting to come up people were doing vlogs and this and this and this and this but she was like look y'all i don't know how to do a lot of hair so this is what i do i do makeup she wasn't trying to do extra vlogs and extra this and extra that it's like look y'all i don't want y'all to know everything about me for real um this is what i do so i liked how she pretty much stuck to what she knew she does makeup videos this is what i do i do makeup videos i'm not doing the makeup vlogs i'm not shopping with y'all i'm not doing all that stuff now she did start exploring it a little bit like that every now and then because people would ask her and she would do it but it's kind of like look y'all don't get really used to it because i like them but eh, not like that she would do it every now and then but nothing too crazy now i still watch her videos now she has definitely expanded her videos from doing just her regular makeup content and beauty content and stuff like that and she also has um her video and stuff like that with her boyfriend now i'll be honest i don't watch none of those videos um i don't really do couples channels like that I don't do the whole, oh yeah, I'm blah, 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 I'm with this person, now I'm doing all the other stuff. Because, especially with her, I've seen her go through different relationships and things with different guys. She had a really bad breakup a few years back with this guy. And that kind of whole little drama thing went on for a while. And then I would start hearing some stuff like about her personal life. And it's kind of like, I it's not that I don't want to believe that this, this, this stuff is true. Because, for the most part, it probably is. But at the same time, I like her for what she chooses to give me, not what I'm going and searching for. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't trying to, like, find out all this extra tea about her because I don't care. I don't care. She knows what she's doing, and she's doing it well. Next. Next Aaliyah is Aaliyah's face. Now, let me tell you about Aaliyah's face. To be honest, this was a long time coming. She's been on YouTube for a while now. Pretty much the same time I started watching, like um Jayla and Alyssa and Brie and, and the other Leah I was watching them and I was subscribing to them I would see her videos like in the queue all the time as recommended but I was never watching her channels um to be honest I have no idea why I was just like ew no I don't want to watch her no I don't know what made me say ew no I don't want to watch you I never gave none of her videos a chance at all like not even a little bit I was just like no couldn't do it and it was only maybe last year that i started watching her channel i watched one video and i was like, like hmm, this was okay let me watch another one let me just see if this was just a fluke and i liked it and i watched another one and i liked it and then i was just hooked and let me tell you what really gets me a lot vlogmas vlogmas will make me start liking you for real because like i said i like vlogs and stuff and if i like your main channel stuff and i like your personality and things like that i'll be interested in your personal life because i want to know how do i get like this you know i like to see okay i like to follow people who i want to aspire to be in some kind of way and want to know what do you do in your everyday life how are you like me a lot of things a lot of people who i do like and enjoy i we kind of do the same thing. We're similar in some way, shape, or form. So I like watching vlogs. And we started, watching, we started doing her vlogs and everything like that. That was it. That was it. And what I really liked is that I guess if you watched her for a really long time, you knew about her um, then boyfriend. I, I don't think they're together anymore now. But you really found out more about her and stuff like that. And she kept all her stuff more so about her. Now, she would mention every now and then like oh yeah we're gonna go do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and yeah he he would be in the background a little bit or something like that every now and then but it was never uh oh this is an hour thing this is the hour thing he's all over the internet no because it's just like y'all don't need to know all of that chill you know he exists you know who he is to me but keep that over there because it's not about y'all like no don't be all in my business no but yeah, I love Aaliyah's face now. I'm actually subscribed to her. And let me tell you, it took a long... The only reason, it, the only reason I subscribe to her so easily is because I've seen her regularly posting for years at this point. 
years at this point. So I knew that her quality content was probably always there. I was just sleeping on it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to hit subscribe because I'm not trying to find you every single day. I obviously was not spelling her name right at all. Every time I subscribe her, spell her name, I'm spelling it like regular Aaliyah. A-A-L-Y-A-H kind of thing. And it's like, no, it's A. Let me read this. A-L-L-Y-I-A-H. What? Your mama being extra. I will judge her. <laughs> so Some family vloggers. Family vloggers and regular people. I used to love family vlogs. I still do like family vlogs, but I'm kind of over trying to catch up, keep up with like 16, 17 families. I used to, I'm subscribed to like at least five families. I only watch one of them now. And I think I'm still subscribed to the other people because I want to know in case I want to know, but I'm not going to watch every single one because it's a lot, y'all. It really is a lot. Like, I watched um, three kids grow up all at the same time. They all had kids at the same time. Um, all that stuff. It was just a lot. But the one I'm still watching now is the Davidsons. Daily the Davidsons. I love, her, I love their family channel. And I started watching them because I started watching Tiffany first. And I really liked her. I really like her family. They're so cute. I love just how they're just like a wholesome black family and I love how they are very black they black I love how they're not like I don't even want to say like stereotypical because um they are just I don't know a regular black family like black dad black mom they're still very much in love still very much together both of their parents are still very much in love married to their significant others who happen to also be black um she has three boys, and then she finally had her daughter. Um, just seeing how much they've grown together. Like, they've been together since, I think she said, like, high school. And the fact that they're still together, they 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 do things as a pair. And they're really, like, close friends. You can tell that they're still very close friends. And I like that they still like each other outside of the camera. Like, they are still friends they can still do things together and have fun so i really like that aspect i like how their family is just so cute and i it, it's just something that i would aspire to be i feel like like i said a lot of the people who i aspire to be i see things in them that i want so i love their family i just love how they went and bought a new house together they have a family together they want the same things for their family and stuff like that i just think it's so cute so i really love I really love it. I love it. I watch, and I also follow them on Instagram also. So it's just so cool. I follow Tiffany and I follow TJ. Yeah, that's it. I don't follow the kids' channels because I don't follow no kids' channels. If you control your kids' channel, I'm not following your page. I'm not following that. What the fuck? No. You sound crazy. I don't even know how I almost forgot about her. Probably my favorite. And that is because I feel like we are the most similar in personality type is Raven Elise. Raven Elise is my dog, bro. That's my bestie. Bestie, right here. Bestie. And I honestly, if I commented more on her videos and more on her profile and stuff like that, we would honestly be friends in real life because she'd be talking to um, her, her subscribers and stuff like that and she recognizes people who comment and stuff all the time. For the, I've been following her for, oh, she's been on, she's, She's been on here for at least 10 years. I've been following her for at least 10 years now. Like, I've been on her page since, like, the beginning. From her Ray Baby TV or something like that channel. Like, it's been a while, y'all. And I just love how she's grown herself. She is a person who can recognize her faults. Recognize the challenges she has, recognize what she is doing to contribute to her problems, and then will actively go and change them, actively go and fix them, actively, okay, I don't want to live like this. I'm living like this because I'm choosing to live like this. How can I live differently? And then go to apply them. I love that. You can see a visible difference to how she was Shoo, maybe five years ago to now it's just so amazing to see how she has just blossomed into 
this person that she probably has always wanted to be and never back then never really thought it was going to be possible for her to be that person you know i support her a lot i actually use collab makeup i use the foundation because of her in case y'all want to know in case y'all is my caramel cousin and coincidentally i actually do use caramel let me see if y'all can see that oh it's a little bit blurry but it's 08 caramel Ooh, don't worry about it being reduced because guess what clearance all the good things come on clearance quote me um collab makeup i this is, is the only foundation i use collab because it literally matches my skin P when i go to like a fashion shoot or something like that and they want to use mine they're like oh put some foundation on her it's already on her oh my god it's so amazing and i like how it's buildable and all that stuff it's not a review but i'm just saying love it and i just like most people who i really watch their stuff and i support them i want to support them for real especially because um when i'm in that position i want people to support me i feel like that's just makes you a good friend, a good person. It's just like, I'm a person. What do you want from people you need to give out to people so that they can do the same for you? You know what I'm saying? Watch all this stuff. Um, now, let me tell you some people who, I'll be honest, it's a few. I'm going to just go with just the little tip of the iceberg. There are a few more people, but I think I'm going to put them in my January favorites video about some people who I watch and stuff like that. People who I didn't mention on here. Or my just favorite, favorite, favorites. So, um, people who I'm not subscribed to. Number one is D Sims. D Sims, bro, talk about black simmers. Now, D Sims is one of the three black simmers who I love because she has so many series that she actually is very constant on and keeps up with them. And I love it. Like, I would want to make Sim videos just because I've seen her play, but it's like, look, my, I already know, my phone can barely contain all the videos I wanna make let alone my computer trying to get all this back stuff. No, no, no. Person is uh, Brooklyn. I know y'all know, hello Brooklyn. It's your girl, Brooklyn, and I'm back. I love Brooklyn. And the funny thing is, I think in my last video, I was well, watching her like on the side doing the video and I definitely did an intro like that. I was like, hey y'all, it's bringing them back with another video, blah, blah, blah. Girl, don't bite. I'm not really biting, I'm more like a sample, just like a little lit, you know? It's really just her personality. It's just her personality because y'all, she is literally in her room on her bed, just talking to the camera like this. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's all she's doing, and it's just like I love all her videos. And I may or may not follow her on Instagram. I don't remember because she's not consistent on her posting on Instagram or on YouTube. There's not really like a schedule. I don't subscribe to her, like you know, so I don't. I, I'm not 100 percent sure on that timeline, but it was a long time, and she didn't post for a long time, and she was trying to, you know, get her life together and stuff like that, which. I 100% support. Get your life, honey, because if your life is trash, your videos can be trash, and I'm not gonna watch it anyway. So, yeah, get it together. But now she's coming back with all these videos of her and her professor, and now they having a little thing, and one of her little exes think that he want her, baby boo. No. Um, I really like her because she is just pure personality. Like, she seems like such a sweet girl, so genuine, she's super pretty, and I like how she is religious. Now, I don't necessarily want to be religious in, I'm not going to say in any way, but I do like how she is very spiritually connected to God and she really lives that in her everyday life. She really preaches that to people around her in the sense that, look, this is who I am and I don't need to change that in any way shape or form at all if you would like to come on to my journey i will be able to i would like to help be a good example for you to follow however if you don't i'm not going to judge your life because everyone's life has their own plan you know what i'm saying i really like that about her i really like how she's able to um have so much self-worth and is very comfortable and confident with who she is and she has just talked about how she doesn't feel that comp um that confidence sometimes she doesn't feel like she fully loves herself and to be honest when you look at her and you watch her channel you would i don't want to say would never 
get that, but it's like she seems very self-secure. She feels very secure in who she is, very confident in who she is, and she doesn't seem to back down from her values, from her beliefs for anybody. It's like, look, this is how it's going to be if you're going to be with me, period. Oh, well, you need to compromise. Yeah, I can compromise, but not on these things. This is definite. And I really, really respect that about her. And I really want to try to implement certain things like that into my life. So that's why I really see it from her. So right I really like here. that. Right here. Kelly Sweet. Okay, I started watching Kelly Sweet because I started watching Vanessa. I don't know what her last name is, but her name is Vanessa. She's um, a white girl. Well... She's mixed all up and stuff like that. I think she's like Hispanic and black or something like that. But she she um, she um passes for white. So I watched her channel and I was like in love with her channel. I don't I didn't subscribe to her either. But then I guess her and this girl were friends when she used to live in LA. And I loved it. I was like, I love this chick. I found this. I found Kelly and I'm like, I love this girl. I look at their subscribers. They have like a million or so each or something like that. I'm like... How have I never seen you guys before? It's definitely because of my age group. I'm not going to say that I'm older or anything like that, but I am 26. I think they're like early 20s, like 22, 23, 24 maybe. And it's like we weren't in the same age group as far as YouTube. So it's kind of like they would have never even come on my feed, to be honest. I was in like a wormhole on YouTube. That's how I found them. And I love Kelly. And my favorite thing about her was her old intro. Um, what's poppin'? What's good? What it is? Oh, what's that? It was just so cute. I was just like, I love all of this. And, um, she did kind of, she does kind of come off of YouTube sometimes, come back on. She did have some drama, like, what, the last, the past few months or something like that with some guy. I like Kelly. I think she's so cute. Um, I like how she's just always kind of cute. Like, she always cute. And when she's not cute, it's because she's not trying to be cute. And when she's not trying to be all the way cute, She's still cute. So, um, she is back on her grind, back posting videos, stuff like that. So, I like her um, content and everything like that. And I just, I think she's just so cute. Um, you can low-key see a theme <laughs> about all of my people. Especially if you don't know who these people are, definitely go subscribe to them. Well, at least go check their channel out first. I can't say subscribe. I'm not subscribed to them. But, you know, go on. Go watch their videos. The views are what really matters. Um... But they're all black. I do like I, I I do prefer to watch black people. Um, but that doesn't mean that all people who I watch are not black because a lot of the videos and stuff like that who I watch are not black. And there's a lot of um, a lot of like TV stuff, cartoon stuff, conspiracy stuff. I love all of that. I love all my white people because they be going in. Okay. Cause let me tell you. But yeah, y'all. I think that is everybody. Um. Well, at least it's all the important people because I can't think of anybody else to include in this one. Um. If I have anybody else, they'll just be on the one for next month. Um. Yeah. My January favorites will be up either before this video or after this video. Um, but it will be up very, very soon, so look forward to it. And I'm going to be talking about everything else besides just YouTubers. So if you want to know some more stuff, just stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, just watch the whole thing. Watch the whole thing. If you don't want to subscribe, I understand. I don't subscribe to a lot of people either, as you just heard. But I watch their stuff faithfully. Watch my stuff faithfully. If you don't watch me faithfully, you have to subscribe. It's one or the other. Watch faithfully or subscribe. Faithful, subscribe. Or you can be a faithful subscriber and watch and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on both my both of my Instagram pages, Brie Personally and Brie Works. And hey, feature Brie here. Um, just, just going to, you know, show you real quick how to follow boom that's me right there Brie personally oh and let me show you the other one reworks in case you didn't you know know how all right bye keep watching watch the growth y'all be a part of the progression so go ahead and watch you know i'm still watching you right you, you know i'm watching you not subscribe right i could you know what? I'm not doing this today, okay? Just watch. Get on it. All right, girl. Bye.
crazy, I'm by my little baby. I go cool, cool, crazy. I'm by my little baby. I go cool, cool, crazy. I'm by my little baby. And I know she got my back. She a bust a 380. Cause you a bad bitch. A bad bitch. You a bad bitch. Anything you want, girl, you can have it. 